So I, I took a bus called Park Bus from Toronto and got dropped here. It's just the day called Two Rivers Campground. And then I'm here on this trail now. I will go all the way here, come back here, then join the Highland Trail here and pam camp for the night um, at Provo King Lake. If you were if you were to do this hike without public transit or with your own car, you would park your car on Highway 60 right here and then take this plank road all the way to here. And because I am bound by public transit, I will take my first night all the way here at Harness Lake. I have to do another halt at Head Lake here because of uh, one extra day that I have uh, for my bus. And then I camp back again here at Provoking and then head back to to Lake of Two Rivers for day five. So day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. And day six in the morning, I take the bus back. Uh, if I were not bound by public transit, I would have probably done one night here, one night somewhere here, and then that's it. And the third day, back here and home. So that's kind of the overall view now. So I'm somewhere here, I'll go all the way here, take a turn, join the trail. Of course, I'm in their country, so uh, take a lot of precautions. And uh, there's a nice open space here, which was burned in 2012 uh, by the Ministry of uh, uh, the Forest Ministry here, and, and to promote uh, research, wildlife, and also to to kind of make people aware of a of an airstrip that used to exist. So uh, the open space does help in the growth of berries, which of course are uh, uh, a critical part of uh, bear's diet and um, and thus they're helping preserve the habitat. This is the old railway bike trail. So I take this trail for a while and then and then I join the main highland trail uh, for where the uh, main hike begins. That's about it for now. Alright, it's about uh, 1.45 p.m. Day one, 10th of July, I have reached my campsite. Uh, this is right along Provoking Lake. Uh, this is on the western side of the lake, and the site is beautiful. Um, has a fireplace, um, and it kind of just walks right into the lake, and just beautiful from here and, and, and a wonderful day today as well that's about it for now it's day one uh 10th of july about 3 pm i've set up my bear bag on a tree and i hope it does a job uh, it's about eight to ten feet high and about five feet wide from the main trunk of the tree so this should work and this is about say about 100 to 200 150 feet probably away from my tent site this should be somewhere to the end of this, right there. And the bear bag is here. So I hope uh, it does the job. Uh, let us see. It's a few minutes past well known on day two. Um, it's the 11th of July. Uh, I'm here at my uh, site for tonight. It's a beautiful site, right bound the lake and this is Harness Lake <laughs> and there's a 
a canoe that's capsized and they're trying to just get it back in. Uh, there are canoe campsites on the other side of the lake and yeah, so they take off from there and the hikers are on this side of the lake. Uh, the campsites are fairly spread out in the sense that you can't even see the next site. So if you need help uh, for bears and stuff, um, uh, I just heard from a passerby that he saw a bear cub, um, and and I crossed that same path 15 minutes later. Uh, I couldn't see it, but uh, they are nearby, and of course they're always nearby. It just makes a point that I have to be extra careful tonight. Um, also, the thunderstorms. Uh, they are due tonight, so have to ensure that I stay safe. Uh, well, the canoe folks have got some help, it seems. Uh, well, good for them. Yeah, well, it's a nice sight. I just need to figure out where to place my tent and figure out the thunderstorm strategy for tonight. Uh, it's right along the lake, so maybe the first area to be hit, so I have to kind of be careful. Uh, trees and uh, stuff as well. Yep, that's about it for now. Alright, it's about 8.30 a.m. <coughs> Day 3, uh, the 12th of July. Um, I had a night of uh, night filled with thunder thunderstorms. Uh, it, it, Took me an effort to put up the tent in very strong wind, um, and uh, yeah, I had to reinforce from all sides. But the this is the MSR NX, a single person tent. I think it stood very well, so I'm glad uh, it was a very good test uh, of the tent. I also do these, I'd say, well, I'm not sure what you call them, uh, lines to kind of channels to give a path for water if you're on a slope. I uh, unfortunately I could not find a better spot considering thunderstorms and wind and everything so this was the best spot but this would be downhill so there's some water coming through so I had to kind of create those lines for water to pass along uh, and that worked well as well because I didn't have as much water under my tent um, and, and none of my stuff got wet inside uh, it's a little overcast uh, I'm not sure what the weather is for today but um, it does look like uh, another day of rain and thunderstorms. Uh, that's what the weather predicted yesterday. I don't have coverage to, to figure out if that's still true. Huh? Um, so I'm going to be packing up soon for the day uh, and heading out to Head Lake. Uh, this is Harness Lake. Uh, the hike is really small. I had to pack in that extra day because of public transport, but, but otherwise I would not have had that extra spot, extra uh, night uh, in around this area. Uh, but but it is nice. I'm my sleep is getting better. Uh, first night was a bit anxious. Uh, getting better now and getting used to. Uh, it's been a while, so uh, getting used to it now. So yeah, the. Uh, Barring the weather, uh, which is always part of the game, uh, everything kind of looks nice. Maybe it's good to check how the lake is looking. And, uh, it just stopped raining, so I had, to, I had a chance to get out. Um, all right. So here we go. This is my spot and so they have spots along the lake and you kind of cannot see, see the next spot. So this this island there is a canoe camping spot. Uh, this one here is a uh, hiking camping spot. You have another canoe spot there, uh, the hiking there and canoe there. And you can see one person somewhere there. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit calm. I uh, hope that is good news for me. Uh, yeah, so now coffee breakfast and I'll get going. That's about it for now. It's 
in the morning. Uh, this is the 13th of July, day four. Uh, this is Head Lake and uh, the view is just awesome. It's about 8.30, um, this is day four, um, and, and I'm just walking through and just crossed a, uh, a small waterfall here, uh, and the trail is kind of getting denser. Um, but this is kind of how the, most of the trail has been. Uh, ups and downs um, by hills and uh, the elevation gain may not be that much but there are frequent ups and downs and you kind of keep walking through and uh, yeah so that's that's about it for now I hope to um, reach my campsite which is provoking lake um, somewhere around 12 30 before four and a half hours from now um hope i can make that time that's about it for now 9 30 ish again uh the day four so uh there's one good thing on this trail which is even on the yellow trails the sign of the backpacker on the yellow trail indicates you are doing clockwise uh which kind of uh, at some places like this one at the fork just before i could have easily gone back uh, the way I came from so, so this is very helpful uh, in finding your way out so I move on it's about 10 15 a.m. and I am right here at this intersection so I started from Head Lake came all the way here and I'm here now so I walk along this road, go back here onto three tonight, and then tomorrow I head back to here, which is Lake of Two Rivers. Uh, to my mosquitoes, I won't be able to do this for long. Uh, so I, I started here, camped for the first night here, and then came all the way through here for the second night. Third night, short hike. Fourth night, I'll be camping here, fifth night here, and then back home. So the, there is a board call information, but there's not much saying there, but you would see the um, sign board there for first loop. And then there is a sign board here for second loop. And you, you'll see the yellow marking on that one. So you'll be able to figure out which way you want to go. That's about it for now. I'll be heading back this way uh, to get to my campsite for tonight. It's 6 a.m. on uh, day 5, 14th of July 2022, and I'm here at Provoking Lake, and that's sunrise. Uh, it's just so beautiful. The mist on the lake kind of makes it feel heavenly. I feel like you're, you're in another planet, and... Uh, in an afterlife, probably, uh, feels magical. So the plan for the day, uh, after I enjoy the sight here, is uh, pack my stuff, head back to uh, the Lake of Two Rivers campground. It's about a uh, couple of hours with all the lookouts and stuff. Um, not a big hike, per se, um, and that's a busy campground because uh, you can just get in your car and camp there. So I don't expect as much solitude uh, there. So I'd uh, spend as much time as I can here before I head there. Um, uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful trip. Uh, one more night to go um, in Algonquin and then tomorrow I head back to Toronto. Uh, it's beautiful. It's about 10 a.m. on uh, day 5, uh, the 14th of July, 
and I'm here at the intersection where I joined the trail. So the, the road straight, this one, this is the uh, old railway bike trail. This goes all the way through to Cache Lake from here. And if you are coming from Lake of Two Rivers, then the Highland backpacking trail is towards the left. And this one, this exit here takes you back to the origin of the trail along Highway 60. Now, because I did not get a car, I got dropped at Lake of uh, Two Rivers and then walked on this bike trail and joined the main backpacking trail from this point. So this kind of is, I would say, uh, the culmination of five days. Um, the next night is going to be Lake of Two Rivers campground. There's really not much to talk about there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I've, I've heard there is a good waterfall um, down here. Uh, I don't have the energy at this point. <laughs> kind of drained and don't have enough food as well. Um, but I'll probably do that some other time. Um, so now, yeah, so when, when you join this, you, you kind of start from here. So this finishes my uh, Algonquin trip. Kind of sad, but kind of happy as well uh, that I'm safe, enjoyed the trip. And kind of everything went along the plan, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, kind of a very nice trip with very beautiful sights all along. Uh, love to do uh, some of the trail. See you soon, Algonquin. Goodbye.